how to use Trello boards. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I am going to show you how you can use Trello boards. So let's get started. First, what you have to do is simply come to Trello.com. Trello is an amazing project management software that allows you to manage and create your content. You can actually get more productive and creative with your Trello and you will be able to manage your tasks better. But how to use Trello, how you can actually customize your boards with Trello and create this amazing creative workspace for yourself. So that is what I am going to show you today that how you can manage your boards with Trello. So let's start with the process. First, what you have to do is you will simply log in into your Trello.com. If you do not have a Trello, it's super easy to get. Simply go to Trello.com and sign up for Trello. So if you have any workspaces before, so let me actually show you that if I go to my Trello and I will be able to get access to all of my workspaces right here. So these are my different workspaces. This is like the basic dashboard that you are going to get when you will sign up for Trello. Let me show you how to create a new workspace and then how to create different boards in that workspace. Simply click on this plus icon right here, which is a workspace. Click on this plus icon and it will allow you to create a new workspace for yourself. So now I have to simply write a name right here. So workspace name. Let's call it the social guide to and workspace type now i have to choose which type is this because we have like small business human resources sales team education let's go with small business after that you have to add a description for your workspace um, any description that you want to add of course because when you have more than one workspaces you can simply add these descriptions so what i am going to do is for now i'm just going to write the word description there you go and then i'm gonna simply click on continue so yeah guys you can see that i have created this workspace which is the social guide 2 and this is my workspace right now so the first thing is going to be adding boards to your workspace how you add different boards so you can see i am on boards right now if i want to add a board i can also click on this plus icon right here so this is also boards i will simply click right here and this will allow me to create a new board now it depends on you if you want to go for a board and you want to start it to kind of like create it from the scratch you can go for that if you want to go for a template so let me show you that the templates we get uh, when it comes to boards so these are boards and you can see right here that these are all different templates and these templates will have um, all of these different lists already created for example it depends on the template if you have a content creating template it will already have a to-do list and different lists already created so if i want to kind of like go for that i can do that or i can simply go for start from the scratch and then i can kind of like customize it the way i want to so for now i'm gonna go ahead and start from the scratch because that's what i want to show you to so the board title we need a board title for that so this is a small business so let's say that this board is going to be about content creating so i'm gonna go and write the name of the board and it is going to be content creation there you go so the workspace is going to be the social guide too because i also have other workspaces and the visibility is going to be a workspace if you want to create a private one you can also go ahead and keep it private if you want to keep it public you can do that as well so you can see right here the background is this if i want to kind of like go for a just a blank color i can do that as well if i want to go for an image then i can go for an image as well so i think this image looks pretty amazing so i'm gonna go with this one so i will simply click on create and then my board will be created if you want to go for a template again um, as a beginner you think that a template will be better for you so you can go ahead and do that as well so you can see right here this is my board that has been created this is the image i selected it looks Looks pretty amazing right so now i have all of these different lists i have to enter the list names and i can add as many lists as i want to then i also get all of these different options for example boards members and settings uh, my boards will be shown right here this one is the first board i can add as many boards as i want to in my one workspace 
so i am going to kind of like make this void a little bit more kind of like you know i'm gonna add list then i'm gonna add few tasks to show you how it works so let's add list so the first list is going to be to do so i have created this list which is to do then i'm gonna create a list which says in progress then i'm gonna create another list which is going to be error like any content that has a problem so i'm gonna create an error list then we have the complete there you go so if i want to add another list i can just go ahead and do that so i'm gonna click on add list and it will be added right here so now i have these lists the first one is to do in progress error and complete let's add different task or cards into our list so to do let's just say i have four tasks to do so what i am going to do is i'm going to create a task one card and i'm going to add this card right here then i have a task two then i have task three and task four there you go so i have created these four tasks for now uh, what i can do is i can actually customize them for example this is task one so i can actually go for different labels as well let's create few labels so this is a label this is going to be a green label let's name this label right here the green one is going to be the complete there you go and i'm going to save this one uh, the yellow one is going to be editing needed okay this one is cool save then i'm going to go for an orange one which is going to be review save then i'm going to go for a red one which is going to be important and let's go with a purple one and that is going to be editing done there you go so i have uh, created these labels so let's just say the task one uh, needs editing so i'm going to go with this one and this is also really important so i'm going to give it two labels right now and i'm going to click on save after that we also have a few other things we can do with our uh you know trailer so we have open card we have change members we have change over we have move copy added dates and archive so if i want to open card open card means that this task will open up up right here and i will be able to do a lot with it uh, you can see like i can add different members i can add description i can write a comment for this task right here and then i can simply add an attachment i can add cover let's add a cover for this task right here so kind of like give it a good aesthetic look i'm just going to show you what we can uh, do with different tasks so let's go with this one right here this image looks pretty amazing so i'm going to select this one so this is going to be the cover uh for this task and this is editing needed important then what else we can do we can add description i'm gonna go ahead and write a description um keep the points in mind there you go so i'm gonna write this description if i have any date let's just say that there is a deadline that i want to add and it's like in two days so i will select a date and what i have to do is i will simply go ahead and save it so now it also has a date and then i can just simply go ahead and you know close the tab and it will be saved so you can see right here this is my task one we have task two now i can just go ahead and do this with all the tasks i have so once you're done with task what we can do is we can move these tasks you can simply scroll and i can just kind of like move it to in progress let's just say that the person has kind of like done this task and they're saying that this is in progress let's say that the task four has an error or maybe our task two is completed so i will simply add it right here so this is how you can just simply go ahead and create different tasks into your board this is a board right here so kind of like you can also get timeline table calendars dashboard and map as well uh, then i can just simply go ahead and go to templates if i want to kind of like search for different templates these are the workspaces where i can actually switch between my different work spaces um, and then i can add members from here you simply click on this add icon and you simply add their email address right here and you will be able to add as many people as you want to and they will get access to your boards right here and they will be able to move these tasks as well because they will be working with you and this is how you can actually manage your tasks better and get more creative and productive with Trello. So yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you and now you know how to use points in Trello.com. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.